Hello, everybody. All right, so let's talk about activity two here in uh, grade 10, applied math, uh, unit one. This is looking at patterns some more. So uh, hopefully you've gotten acquainted with the D2L system, this graphical interface. Uh, we're going to look at activity two, which is to un uh, pattern representations. So first thing you do is you're going to make yourself a whole bunch of squares of different sizes, one, one by one, two by two. Um, you, can, the, you can click on this here and it'll let you make these this little tiny one, little one by one. Uh, if you don't have a printer and you can't print it off, don't worry about it. Just uh, get a piece of paper or if you have some graph paper, you can cut them out or you can make your own little boxes. That's two by two, three by three and so on and so forth. Okay, and then we're going to think about what's the area and perimeter of some of these. Remember, area is, is walking around the shape. So, for example, uh, this guy here, this is 4 by 4. So to get the perimeter of him, it's going to be 4 plus 4 plus 4 plus 4. 4, 8, 12, 16. So the perimeter of this little guy, if you can see all the boxes, there, is 16. Okay, and the area, so, sorry, yes, the area, though, would then be... Also 16, would it? I'll let you guys think about that. Because it'd be how many boxes? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, uh, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. We have 16 boxes. Okay, uh, so you guys can do that minds on yourselves. Um, you can watch this little video, but really what I want you to do is get to this point. We're going to look at this investigation here with these squares. So you're going to open up this uh, investigation, and it looks like this. And we're going to make some graphs using uh, Desmos. You don't need this page, really. Uh, we're going to start looking at the rep the relationship between how long the side lengths are and their perimeter. So let's look at number one. That is the first. That's, that's a one by one box here. So it's one by one by one by one. So to walk around it for the side length of one, Let's just zoom in a little bit. The side length of one, that's going to have a perimeter of four. For me to go walk all the way around there, it's going to have a perimeter of four. Two by two, this guy here, two, four, six, eight. So a side length of two, it's going to have a perimeter of eight. What about three? Three. 6, 9, 12. So 3 is 12. Anyone see a pattern yet? 4, 16, 5, 20. Okay, so let's just go with that data for now. Uh, what you're going to do now is you're going to, uh, it asks us to make a scatter plot of this data. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to Desmos. Oh, let's go to that one for now. Let's add ourselves a table. And it's going to be one, one, oh, sorry, one, two, three, four, five. And the sides were uh, four, eight, 12, 16, and 20. Okay, so there's our, our pattern. As you can see, it's going up in what we call a linear fashion. So what you can do now is once you've got yourself your scatter plot, go down to your snipping tool. And you can just grab your graph. Sorry about the dog, if you can hear that. And you can just paste that into there. Make it nice and small so it doesn't take up too much space. OK. So the question becomes, is this linear or nonlinear? So in this case, it asks us, if you think the line of best fit is, is a straight line, we're going to use linear relationship. So if you go here, it says, you're, notice it says control click. So we're going to click on that guy. And this will open up a new Desmos, a special one that's been made for us that allows us to put our, our numbers in again. 1, 4, 2, 8, 3, 12, 4, 16, 5, 20. And you can zoom out and see that. And see, it's already made a, a line for us. And if you scroll down, it actually tells us what the what the, the equation is. It says y equals 4x plus 0. 
So it tells us right away. So uh, the X represented the side lengths. I'm just going to actually go through the first one with you. The Y represented the perimeter. And we came up with, a, with an algebraic expression that Y equals 4X. Done. I really don't like that Y. Sorry. So Y equals 4X. All right. And now we're going to come up with a model. Uh, so paste a picture of your tile model or draw the tiles on your page. So you can just draw here. So it's 1, 2 by 2, 3 by 3, 4 by 4. So 1, sorry, 4, 8, 12, 16, so on and so forth. So uh, what's the relationship here? How would, we, how would we describe this relationship? Each time, so we say each time the length increases, pardon, writing on it, a screen like this is difficult, uh, increases, the perimeter, what does it do? What is it? What are we doing each time we go up? We're adding, the perimeter adds how much? Four, right? Every time we're going up here, we're adding four. So that's our pattern. The perimeter is linear, and the rate of change, the amount that's going up each time, is 4. Okay? So and that's all that we had to do for, sorry, that's all that we had to do for that investigation. Okay? I'll let you guys do the second part with the areas. Okay? So it's uh, 1, and then the first one is 1, 2 times 2 is 4, and so on and so forth. Okay? So I'll let you guys work on that. So let's go back to our actual thing. So we're done that. Uh, and now we're going to look at different representations. You can watch this video of how we can have a table, graph, equation, uh, a set here, numbers, these ordered pairs, or words that can represent all the same sort of represent uh, the same re relationship. We have a whole bunch of different representations, different ways that we can view the same pattern. Like, for example, in our... Uh, in this, we had uh, an algebraic equation that gave us a, a, like a math equation that tells us the pattern. We have words, we have pictures, we have a graph. They're all the same. Okay? So here we can have a table of values for this data. We could have a graph, right? Or we could, we have, we could come up with uh, ordered pairs. So 1, 4, 2, 8, 3, 12, 4, 16, 5, 20. We can put that on a graph, and we can come up with, you can use it as a tile diagram to show all of these things. So there's a whole bunch of different ways. We've got our equation. Uh, perimeter is 4 times x. P equals 4s. There's a nice, look at that nice little equation there. That represents that. Um, and you can go through this. But what we want to do, the big idea, the big uh, assignment here is this match and extend. So I think I have it open here. What it's asking you to do, I think there's six different ones. For each of these things, they're going to give you a representation. So here's a pattern. I got two yellow hexagons, uh, and then each time I'm adding three trapezoids. Okay? So the which of these gra uh, sorry tables of values represents this picture? And then once you pick the right one, A or B, we're going to then represent it now as a graph. You're going to take your data and put it on a graph. And then I'd like you in words or tiles or however you want, describe the connection here in between these things. What's the connection between the, this tile diagram, the table of values, and the graph? What's the thing that sort of connects them? What's the idea that connects them? Then the next one here, we have, a t we have a graph. Tell me which word description matches the graph. And then using this graph data, make a table of values. So here, for example, we're starting at the x value of 0. The y value is 4. Okay. And then again, what's the connection? 
Next one here we have uh, some words. Number of tiles equals 15 minutes. 15 minutes, two times the position number. Hmm, what does that mean? I'll let you guys think about that, okay? Uh, which of those graph? 15 minute. Oh, sorry, that's wrong. That should say minus. I'm going to have to fix that. So it's 15, take away two times the position number. So we're starting at zero, we're starting at 15. Then the position number here is one. One times two is two. So the next number should be 15, take away two times one is two, which is 13. So the first one, I'll, I'll, I'll cheat here. That one should be, the answer is B. Okay, then you can draw yourself a tile diagram. Start with 15 tiles on the bottom. You can do, let's say, five by three, right? And then the next one, we're gonna take away a certain number and keep going. We can rewrite these. So the next one would be 13, 11, and so on. What's the connection? Next one here, uh, we have a table of values. Then we have some tiles, make a graph out of it. Then tell me the connection between them and so on and so forth. How many is there all together? Six, no, sorry, I apologize, there's seven. Okay, once you finish this, you can um, uh, type this in as a, a Word document, put all your stuff in, you can, the connection is, you can finish that off there, right? Uh, once you have that, you can save that to your computer, make sure you save it as a nice file, and go back to your in here, uh, click on submit work, and you can drop it into the activity to Dropbox. Okay, so you can put that into there. Uh, also, there's going to be another self assessment questionnaire. Okay, you can click on that. I won't click on that because I'm signed in as a teacher and it'll do some strange things. Okay, then we're going to do a consolidation. So, what's the consolidation here? Uh, we're going to make two posters that summarize the connection between different representation of lines. Okay. One poster to focus on linear relationship. Uh, one second. Sorry, I just changed my mind. Uh, we're going to skip the consolidation here for this unit. Okay. So again, skip the consolidation. Don't worry. All I'm asking you to do is submit the assignment here for the match and extend. Okay, don't worry about making the posters. All right, so activity two, all you have to do, the, the work that you have to submit to me is the self-assessment and the match and extend assignment. Okay, so uh, hopefully that's not too much. If you did get stuck or confused at any point during uh, this description, remember, just go back and, uh, and watch the video again and, uh, and go from there. All right, so uh, best of luck, and I'll be talking to you later.